so it's Friday morning and uh, I forgot my blanket forgot my pillow and it was freezing last night but we overcame I'm looking forward to another day of ripping and uh, it's gonna be a good one boys weather's cleared out let's go drones coming out you want in on this clip wake up no hangover flu let's go if you're gonna play you gotta pay struggle is real <laughs> What did we have to do? We had to uh, keep you from barreling down a uh, pretty steep sand cliff. But how did it perform? It worked as it was supposed to. It did what it needed to do. It was a good slack line to get back up the dune too. Nobody got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Too much fun. Now, you realize that Ian and I both had a bet on who was going to roll first. I didn't bet on him. I bet on the field. Yeah. We both did. Yeah. We thought everybody else was going to roll first. Didn't roll first. Two other guys did. Oh, that's true. Last night. So what happened there? You did the berm catch you? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it hooked me too. And uh, I just, I didn't go with it. I just fought my way out of it. Well, we'll get you uh, winched back over. Uh. Come on! Come on! I know it's gonna come out, but it's gonna hit hard when it rolls over. Okay. Oh, lock the winch. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what were you saying about falling hard?
Ian, what'd you do? Uh, I made a bad line choice. And then I high centered, tried to power through it, and at about 0.25 of a mile an hour, I just did this, cussed a whole bunch, and then came to rest. Oh, I thought you were just tired. I think, hey, yeah. first time out. Yeah, first time I've seen Freaking greenhorns.
it's raining. It's raining. Day three. First day it rained. Second day bluebird. Third day rain. I think that was a pretty good taco. Uh, I don't know, man. That's such is the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Well, it's not really pouring, pouring, so I think it's good to rip. What do you think? You know me. Let's do it. Seconds later. What's going on? Well, apparently Chad needs a recovery kit. So what happened is I got to here and realized there's no way I'm getting around that without going up here and tipping over. So I sunk it in, hoped for the best, and uh, basically this was in here scratch the hell out of my plastic as you can see no big deal those doors aren't staying anyway but uh yeah guess what it is we didn't have a tip over technically we didn't get stuck but uh somebody mother nature decided to fall this tree right in the way of all 72 inch machines yeah but, <laughs> so we took out for 72 inch machines is that what you're saying yeah nature yeah. nature doesn't like wide bodies huh yeah nature doesn't like chat yeah so we took the razor Brought her up, winched up to a tree, and then snatched block down to the rear hook, pulled him up the hill, and uh, was able to get him around that uh, log. The thing is too, man, this trail right here was way steeper, and that's why I chose it. Had I chose that one and gone around, I literally could have maintained speed, but one screw up and it would have slid right into there. Oh, you went up this one right here? Huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. I went to this one. Oh, I thought you went up that outside one. You went up, up that outside one right now, dude. Let's do this. <laughs> you, you tried doing a 180 degree turn on a on a tree pivot. Well, you, you can't see. You can't see coming up it. And you can't see in an X3 too well. But you know, nonetheless, I learned my lesson yesterday, so I didn't go up. I didn't go up, and uh, I'd have been on two wheels, dumped over. That would have been a faster recovery. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I don't want my shoulder going in. I don't want my shoulder going in. A lot more fun for us. <laughs> Look at what your shoulder gets to go in. Oh yeah, or your face. Or your face. That's why we wear helmets. I was wearing a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, well good to see you didn't blow your scats. That's what I that's it's why I win. stopped. It's a win. Yeah. You know, you wanted to put your machine to the test. Now you know that you can't do that in this kind of a condition here. He and I collectively, between the two of us, have about two thousand, about fifteen hundred, two thousand miles riding together. At least. At least. Uh we never used a winch. In that entire time, Priest Lake, Northern no Idaho. Come along, no come alongs, no No come alongs, uh, backcountry discovery route. Uh, we used a tow strap once, but but that was yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, we've used a winch five times on this Winchester trip, isn't that right? <laughs> Something like that. I've used mine three. You've used yours a couple. Yeah. So, well, go figure. can we can we count mine? <laughs> I was following a Chad up a hill at night in rain. <laughs> Chad likes to send it, dude. <laughs> Into blind corners. <laughs> yeah. Chad's not messing around. All right, well, let's get going. Let's